Hello, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a unable to connect to database issue with the Mudpie Creations Church Bookkeeper application. If you launch the Church Bookkeeper app and all of the icons on the main screen are disabled and there's an unable to connect to database message at the bottom in red, then you can click on get help and it will display a list of step-by-step um, -step instructions for troubleshooting this issue. There could be um, several different things that could be going on and these instructions will show you each thing to check. So this video we're going to just look at the very first thing to check for whether or not SQL services are running. These instructions can also be found at the MudPie website. So if you launch a browser window and type in mudpiecreations.com that will launch the website and you can go to the support page. Make sure Church Bookkeeper is selected in the tab and then here at the top it says unable to connect to database message and if you click on this link this is the most um, up-to-date instructions for troubleshooting this issue. So I'm going to leave this window open and we're going to follow along. So the first thing to check is whether or not SQL services are running. And you need to launch the Windows Services app. So if you go down to the bottom um, to the Windows search bar, you can type in the word services. And as you can see, the services desktop app is listed here. So we're going to click on that and that launches the services window. This is a list of all the services that are running on your computer. This list is alphabetical, so if you just randomly click on one of them and press the S key, that will take you to the list of services that start with the letter S. So you can see here in the troubleshooting instructions, we're looking for a service that is called SQL Server MPC. So here in the list is SQL Server MPC. If you're unable to find that service listed here, then that's another issue and you should move on to the second video in this series to l check out the, the next thing that could be causing this issue. So we have it listed here, so we're going to look at the status. and. We want the status to say either running or started. So as you can see, there's nothing listed for status on the SQL Server MPC. So we're going to right click and a context menu pops up and we're going to choose start. And that will start the service and the status has now changed to running. Let's also look at the startup type. Notice that it says automatic and if it had said disabled then we would definitely need to change it to automatic. Um, however, we're going to change it to a setting that will hopefully keep us from having this issue ever again. So we're going to right click on SQL Server MPC and we're, this time we're going to choose properties. So if we look in the middle of the screen, it has startup type and it says automatic. And we're going to instead choose automatic delayed start. So this means that not only when you start up your computer will it start the service automatically for you, but it will also start it up as one of the last things that it does. And so this will increase the um, likelihood that it will successfully start. So we're going to choose automatic delayed start and press the OK button. And so you can see that the startup type has changed. So now we can close the services app and we'll need to restart Church Bookkeeper. So we're going to close the Church Bookkeeper app. Now if you had previously been running Church Bookkeeper successfully and just suddenly got this um, unable to connect a database message. Then now when you when you launch the Church Bookkeeper application, um, everything will work. You can see that the icons are now um, enabled and 
it's up and running, it's connected to the database. However, if you got that message after initially installing Church Bookkeeper, that was your first time that you ran Church Bookkeeper and you got that message, then probably when you launch the Church Bookkeeper after starting the service, it still is not going to connect. And so in that case, um, more than likely during the install, the, the database wasn't able to be configured because that service wasn't started successfully. So I'm going to close the Church Bookkeeper app. And um, you can see here in the instructions, it says that you'll just need to install the Church Bookkeeper um, application one more time, and then that will set up the database for you. So if you've purchased Church Bookkeeper on a CD, then you can put in the CD into your CD-ROM drive. And I have it already loaded here. And so if you navigate to your CD or DVD drive, you look for Setup um, Application and double click that and that will launch the Church Bookkeeper install and that will reinstall Church Bookkeeper and you choose the Repair option and then that will set up the, the database for you. However, if you installed, I mean, I'm sorry, if you purchase Church Bookkeeper as a download file, then um, you don't need to re-download the file or get the file off a USB drive that you may have placed it there for safekeeping. All of the files that are needed to rerun the Church Bookkeeper install is already on your computer. You just need to go to a File Explorer window and go to your C drive and Program Files x86 folder. So in there you will find Setup Bookkeeper. So in that folder, if you double click on that, these are all the files that were extracted from the downloaded file when you first ran it. And so you can click on the Setup Application and choose Yes to allow the application to make changes. And so now you'll just run through the install one more time. Since this is going to be in repair mode, it will be much faster. So you'll just choose yes for you created a backup that'll let it move on to the next step. And then um, choose repair and the next button. And so this doesn't take nearly as long as the very first time you run the install. It's, it's really just going to go through um, the setup that it wasn't able to do previously. For example, the database setup. And so now um, it's finished. We're going to say finish, oh, click the finish button. And now when you launch the Church Bookkeeper um, icon, you can see that everything's working. So hopefully this um, took care of the issue. If this was not the problem, if the SQL service um, wasn't there in the list or um, it still didn't start up the Church Bookkeeper application, um, there's other steps to check, and you can move on to the, the next video, which will guide you through the next steps.